Hi everybody, welcome to Vigor on Steam Deck. And in this video, I want to try and answer the questions about whether Vigor runs well on the Steam Deck. And then, what's the game about? Um, is it a good game? And rather unusually, is it worth buying in early access? Because Vigor, when it comes out of early access, will be a free-to-play game. So if you have to download it um, on your Steam Deck and ju just check it out for yourself. But at the moment, you need to play about, I think it's about £16 or about twenty US dollars to actually play, which gives you a load of extra stuff to mess around with. But obviously, there's a bit of difference between $20 and free-to-play. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, jump into a game um, but I'm recording this video quite early in the morning so there might be quite a delay as it's actually looking for um, a, a match because there's not actually that many people playing Vigor on PC at the moment so obviously being on the Steam Deck um, this is uh, this is uh, most definitely the PC version so anyway while we're waiting for an encounter um, does the Vigor run well on the Steam Deck. And I've got to say, absolutely, yeah. I've played quite a few games on the Steam Deck now, and I have thoroughly uh, enjoyed my time on it. Um, I played Vigor quite a lot uh, on console, when it was free on console, um, and kind of kind of enjoyed it, but I don't think I really understood what it was, what it was all about. But having sort of watched a few more tutorials myself... Um, I kind of really understand kind of what 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 Vigor is asking you of as a game, and I've I've enjoyed it all the more because of that. Okay, so what is Vigor? Um, so it is a extraction looter shooter set in post apocalyptic Norway in the nineteen nineties. So the idea is there's been a nuclear war, and you're in the Outlands, which is in Norway, um, and what you've got to do is go into different areas um, and loot up. And as long as you come out of that encounter alive, you will bring out everything that you took in and everything that you looted. However, if you die, what will happen is, you know, you lose everything you've taken in. There are some mechanics around that, though. You can buy insurance with the in-game currency so that when you come out, you, you don't lose everything. Um, you also have the base, which you just saw there, which is which can't be raided. That's your base, and... As you get resources and do things and complete challenges, um, uh, you level up. And you can then level up your base as well. So your base can then uh, give you resources back. So things like food, water, materials. And you can then start, to, and you have a workbench. Um, so you can then start to craft things like weapons and consumables. I should ready up, shouldn't I? Um, in fact, let's boost this lobby as well. And let's take out insurance, um, and so and so on. So the kind of the idea is you kind of go into an encounter, and then like here we go. So we're starting over here on in the west, and then these are all the exits. After I think it's about fifteen minutes, the radiation starts to come and come in, and you've got to go. And about halfway through, there will be a um, airdrop that comes in that has has good goodies in. So kind of the whole point of it is coming in and then maybe um, fighting other players if you have to um, or if you want to and taking the kit that they've brought in, scavenging a load of supplies, you know, resources, food, like dying like me because I'm trying to talk and do these things at the same time, <laughs> which is a bit silly there. Um, and then coming out, levelling up your base, um, and uh, crafting, say, new weapons or new um, uh, consumables, um, and then so and so forth. So it has this really nice um, gameplay loop. Because it is free to play, when it does go free to play, you'll have the opportunity to purchase things as well to make this easier. So you can be able to uh, buy weapon packs. In fact, let's, let's try that again. Um, you have to buy kind of you know weapon packs and um, booster packs and blueprints to make weapons and all this sort of thing. Um, but you don't have to buy any of that. You can grind the game. Oh, I don't like the word grind. Grind. You can play the game um, and uh, and earn stuff that way. 
I would say it's most like, in fact, I tell you what, I probably need some more ammo because I did bl blow a bit, didn't I? Oh, we've uh, leveled up. Okay, got that. Thank you. There we go. Where are we? Uh, ammo. Oh, we've still got 90 rounds left. So for the ADS. Oh, so that's good. Um, so yeah, so it does have a very nice gameplay loop. It's very much like DayZ. Imagine if, if you know DayZ. Imagine DayZ. What happens is you 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 spawn in on say Cherna or Sylvania, and you wander around and you gather up equipment and you gather up loop and you might make yourself a little base. Unfortunately, people can raid it, which they you know they can't do in Vigor. Um, and and you, if you bump into other players, you can you can kill them and take their stuff, or you can team up with them. Um, and and generally that's what you do. And Vigor's really like that. The only difference really is that you have a base that is your base. Um, and the idea is that you're bringing resources back to your base. So it feels very much like Daisy when you're wandering around these areas. Um, it also kind of feels a little bit like um, PUBG as well. You know, in the, like the final circles when people are coming together, um, and you're still and in the, like in the old days when you still had to um, uh, still loot in those final stages. It feels a bit like that as well, but it mostly feels like Daisy. And when you get a kill, it feels really great to kill people. And often people have way too much gear on them. So you kind of you kind of pick up all their stuff, um, and then you take that out, and then you you know you um, you level up your base. So it's a fun game. Um, it's got a nice gameplay loop. Not that sure about the gunplay because you know I'm not that experienced. I prefer just to wander around and be like a loot goblin and take stuff out and, and upgrade my base. Um, however, so the next question is 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 it worth buying it to play on early access? And there's kind of, um, there's two thoughts about this, is the fact that you should just wait for free to play. And then when it goes free to play, play it then. However, when it does go free to play, what you'll find is that they, w they will offer um, these packs that you can start off with that give you kind of a, a head start by giving you weapons and resources and consumables to start off with. And I'd probably recommend that when it does go free to play, you do, if you're new to um, Vigor, um, what you'll want to do get more loop that's ready up um you'll, you'll want to buy one of these packs because vigor is lots and lots of fun when you've got a nice weapon or two to take with you and say some grenades or some they have little scanner things that will tell you where the nearest player is for a couple of seconds really is great fun when it's like that it's not so much fun when you start off and you've only got like a tommy gun submachine gun um it's not much fun like that so I would say if you're kind of looking at the footage of Vigor and you're thinking, actually, the gameplay loop that, loop that Rob's describing and the gameplay that I'm watching, that really appeals to me. That This sounds like it may well be my sort of game. Well, actually, it's, it's worth paying for then because you're going to have all this stuff that, that, that's given to you that you then can learn how to use because there's some quite complicated stuff in Vigor in terms of like how uh, you um, uh, repair your health, uh, how... how um, when, when you're injured and all these different devices you have like booby traps and different bombs for for going after other players and having those so you can actually practice with them especially in early access is very good because what's going to happen at the early access is the game is going to be reset but you'll be re-given all of your um the, the stuff that you got in the in the early access pack which is um pretty you know pretty good so I would say, if you're kind of watching this and you're thinking, oh yeah, kind of a stealth uh, extraction shooter, um, looter, uh, is my cup of tea. Uh, you know, and this is the sort of game I really fancy um, playing on my Steam Deck. Then, I don't know, I think you should uh, seriously you know, consider it because it does run very well. Um, it's a fun game. And um, yeah, I've been having a blast with it as well. So there we go. There are my thoughts about Vigor on Steam Deck. Runs well. It's a great game. I think it. If it, if you look at the gameplay and what I've been talking about, you think, yeah, that that's my cup of tea. I would say, you know, give give it a go because I think you are going to enjoy yourself. And having having all that stuff to start off with, all those weapons and all that gear, really does uh, really does help. Anyway, I think I've got someone tracking me, so I'm just going to uh, go now. But I'll put a link to the Vigor 
page on Steam in the description below this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And, of course, I'll see you again soon.